हेलो एवरी वन आई एम मिस्टर सुशांत एस पाटिल असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मेकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग वॉलचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डील विथ प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ कोल सो लेट्स बिगिन विथ अ लर्निंग आउटकम्स एट द एंड ऑफ द सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू ड्रॉ द प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ कोल एज पर गिवन कंडीशन एग्जाम्पल here we are solving a simple example of projection of cone a circular cone 38 mm base diameter and 65 mm long axis is resting on hp on one point of a base circle and such that its axis makes 40 degree inclination with hp and 45 degree inclination with vp draw its projections if vertex of a cone is away from observer everyone make a note of it and let's move ahead with a given data of this example before going to solve a solution of projection of circular cone so our given data our object is circular cone will be look like this if you observe properly here also there are some slant edges are there so those are nothing but called as generators it will be look like a pyramid only but uh, at it is a curvature nature we will assume some of the generators which are connected to base point of a circular base of a cone and uh, if you observe there is a axis and there is a vertex so vertex and apex both are a same meaning and the dimensions as we mentioned here the base diameter is 38 mm that is base diameter of a circle and while a height is 65 mm the conditions are axis inclination with hp is 40 degree an axis inclination with a vp is 45 degree vertex of a cone is away from the observer so these conditions we are going to be follow in this particular example now we will solve this example in a three stage so we start with solution first we draw a circle and this circle we have to divide into eight parts minimum eight parts dividation is necessary for the circle or we can do 12 parts also we can do 18 parts also that is not a conditions here for dividing any circle so minimum eight parts and those are very simple one so i am dividing the circle into eight parts and we give the numbers to all the eight parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 oh. and our x y line we can draw at a certain distance from a circle then we draw the projectors as it will be look like a triangle once again and we will mark the generators then we will mark our points that is bottom base of a circle 1 dash 2 dash 8 dash 3 dash 7 dash 4 dash 5 6 dash and 5 dash so here 2 dash 8 dash will make a one generator 4 dash 6 dash there are some generators so remember those generators are connected to vertex point o dash okay now in second stage we are redrawing the first view that is 40 degree with axis and uh, our corner point is on x y line okay so first we mark 5 dash corner point and take the distances from 5 dash to o dash we mark o dash and uh, perpendicular line we will draw from 40 degree Uh, uh, that means we will uh, take a angle of 50 degree with the base of the circle here also and uh, that will complete a 90 degree so that uh, we will draw a 
same triangle from front view in a tilted fashion at a 40 degree and then we will take our observer is from observing top view now so the arrow mark will be coming top side of the front view and uh, we have to take projectors from a first view and we have to draw the our next view that means our fourth view okay so again here if you observe we take a projectors from a, sec a third view and first view those are intersecting each other we get the points that is 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 1 5 1 6 1 7 1 8 1 so we mark those all the points and last point is O1 then we darken the outer boundary that is O1 7 1 7 1 2 8 1 8 1 2 1 1 1 1 2 2 1 2 1 2 3 1 and 3 1 2 O1 so this is our outer boundary which is connected each other so First, we connect the outer boundary by dark lines and while 7, 6, 4 and 5, those are not visible from arrow mark. So obviously that uh, circle, that is shrinked a circle will be, uh, some part will be look like a dash lines. Okay, so 7 dash 6, 6, 1 and uh, 6 1 to 5 1 5 1 to 4 1 4 1 to 3 1 we will attach with a dashed or hidden circle which is not visible from a front view observer let's move ahead with the third case before going to that we have to mark the top view of our axis in a, our fourth view because this is a some special kind of example okay you will understand why I am calling out this is a special kind of example because uh, in uh, this example we have to mark a true length of axis so we make a 45 degree angle as uh, it is mentioned that we have to mark a true length of axis for that purpose first we mark any point okay so any two points of axis so that is a true length of axis so where we get a true length so this true length we will get at a 3 dash 7 dash 2 o dash point or that is observed in a second view and third view and the axis height is same so 3 dash 2 o dash that is our axis height remember so that is a true length of our axis so we mark those points first then if you observe O1 and then we mark a locus point which is parallel to XY line because we learn in a projection of lines how we mark the true length and locus so similarly we will follow the same step here we mark the true length and apparent length of axis visualize in a top view that is O1A so we will take a distance of O1A and from one leg of our compass will be on O1 while uh, we will mark an arc on a locus point and we will get O1A point that is top view length of axis we will mark ok so here if you observe that again the vertex point is away from the observer and nearer to x y line ok so here that case is there again we are observing that case and we will observe in this side our cone base that means our circular part of a cone is easily visible so here first we join the outer boundary that is O1 to 7, 1 to 8, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6, 1. We will complete all the view of fourth view and it is a tilted manner at a 45 degree. Mm -hmm. Then we have to take the projections from top view to front view and from third view, those are intersecting each other we are marking the points 11 dash 21 dash 31 dash 41 dash 
5 1 dash, 6 1 dash, 7 1 dash, 8 1 dash and 1 dash to respective projections and then cover the outer boundary as we visualize easily the bottom circle here also we will visualize from the arrow mark bottom circle and any generator which is we have to draw it it is not necessary it is always connected to 7 and 3 ok so remember here it is connected to uh, near to the 6 because it is a tangential to that particular point and here uh, O1 dash will be connected to 1 1 dash here and here if you observe our final view is completed uh, from the observer point of view hope everyone understand very well here we uh, doesn't required to draw the other generators also references these are some of the references thank you